yes good morning students today is the <coughs> fifth part of uh, chapter principle of inheritance and variation in the previous part 1 2 3 and 4 we have covered about the some terminologies that are used in genetics and uh, contribution of mendel father of genetics a uh, yp plant is selected and uh, the laws given by mendel uh in the previous uh, part four slide now in the fifth part we start with the test cross what is a test cross test cross is a cross which take place between a hybrid hybrid means f1 generation and its homozygous recessive parent means when a cross is made between first generation hybrid to the its homozygous recessive parent this cross is known as test cross and why this test cross is used test cross help to identify the genotype genotype means capital t capital t small t small t capital t or small t so we can easily identify the genotype of uh, the hybrid by using a test cross method in the below this is hybrid tall plant or you can say first generation expression and this is recessive dwarf plant means its recessive parent that is recessive is expressed with small alphabet and dominant is expressed with capital alphabet so in this small t small t is there so it is a recessive dwarf plant and <clears throat> hybrid tall after generation we will use two type of gamete capital t small t but small t small t will produce only a single type of gamete that is known as small t these gamete get randomly rearranged to form or to give the expression in the next so first is capital t will arrange with small t and small t small t will arrange to form a dwarf plant so the ratio when we ask about the ratio of uh, test cross then the ratio will be one ratio one phenotype or one ratio one genotype so <coughs> this is about test cross uh, this is very important topic uh, sometime uh, it may be asked that uh, what is a test cross explain so you have to mention this definition test cross and explain with the uh, with the given uh, below the cross yes now incomplete dominance uh, in the previous part 4 we have covered about law of dominance uh, what is law of dominance law of dominance uh, simply uh, we can simply explain that when a gene or when allele express themselves when allele express themselves then the allele will known, known as dominate and the allele which do not express themselves then it is known as recessive allele so sometime some alleles do not obey the law of dominance so if the law of dominance is not obeyed then some exceptions may arise and these exceptions are discussed here in this slide and the first exception is incomplete dominance first one is incomplete dominance <clears throat> as the name suggest incomplete means uh, which do not have the complete expression of dominant or recessive so in incomplete dominance none of two none of two allele are dominant and the example Uh, the plant that show incomplete dominance is snapdragon or the common name of snapdragon is dog flower here you can see red color flower in first generation this is first generation and the uh, white color flower in the second generation this is f2 generation is crossed f sorry i am again repeating Uh, this is the uh, red color flower just wait a second i have to erase this 
this is not f1 or f2 i am again correcting it this these are parent p1 and p2 these are parent p1 and p2 this is parent p1 this one is parent p2 parent p1 contain red color flower and parent p2 contain white color flower so when the parent p1 and p2 get crossed then it will lead to the formation of first generation that is f1 generation and the f1 generation plant bears flower which are not red and not white in color they are pink in color so this is the expression that is incomplete dominance next yes uh, incomplete dominance was discovered by corns scientist name is corns corns discover the incomplete dominance and the plant used is mirapilus jalapa mirapilus jalapa is the plant uh, that is used for incomplete dominance it is also called as partial dominance or it is also called as semi dominance and uh, what is uh, the definition of incomplete dominance incomplete dominance is that in which allele for a specific character is not completely dominant allele for a specific character is not completely dominant means the allele is not completely dominant over other allele means it do not show law of dominance so they are termed as incomplete dominance yes you can see here in the cross uh, parent p1 is red color with the expression rr parent uh, p2 is white color expression ww and rr produce gamete known as r and ww produce the gamete w these r and w get combined to form first generation and the expression of this is pink means they produce pink color hybrid pink color this first generation is self crossed self crossed means rw and rw is crossed to produce second generation uh yes you can see here in the figure this rww will produce one gamete that is capital r second gamete capital w here second uh, will also produce same r capital w capital when this r and r will combine it will produce red color when rw combine then it will produce pink color and rw produce pink color and ww produce ww produce white color so here you can see one is red two is pink and one is white so the ratio phenotype ratio is one ratio two ratio one and the genotype ratio is also similar one ratio two ratio one yes next now this is also the you can say exception of law of dominance this is the second exception of law of dominance this is known as codominance or oh, what is codominance when both the allele for a character are dominant means both the alleles are dominant both the alleles are dominant this is known as codominance both allele will express themselves in law in simple law of dominance only one allele is expressive other is non expressive that is recessive but in codominance both the alleles will are will show as some expression or will express its character so that's why they are termed as codominance example in ab blood group in ab blood group capital a is dominant capital b is also dominant so capital a and b will combine to form ab blood group blood group in human are controlled by three alleles blood group in humans are controlled by mainly three alleles that is a capital b capital and simple i sometime it is written as io sometime it is written as io allele you can also write i o i am again repeating blood group is controlled by three allele i a capital i b capital i o capital but in this i o is recessive 
IO is let's just say IA and IB is dominate means IA is dominate IB is also dominate so both will dominate this is IA and IB both are dominate so it will produce the blood group known as AB blood group here both are dominate here both are dominate next so i am explaining by writing this ia this is first allele alleles are in pair hai na so ia and ib these are allele pair and these both will co dominate and will express to form ab blood group let us take another example if ia and io will be there then blood group is only a because o is recessive so blood group will be a so let's start the position where these alleles and these genes are located is on chromosome number 9 these are located on 9 number of chromosome and ia ia is responsible for the production of antigen a and ib is responsible for the production of antigen b and single i means io will do not produce any antigen yes this is the location where abo gene is located and proper location is on the chromosome 9q34 this is the proper location where abo blood group system genes are present and this location is present on chromosome number 9 yes next this is this is the table uh, that i was uh, explaining in the previous slide this is ia this is ib these two are co dominate over simple i or io so when we ask about the blood group a then blood group a will have two type of genotype maybe it may have two type of genotype simply ia ia or ia single i so blood group will be a if b blood group is there then ib ib or ib io if ab blood group is there ia ib and if o blood group is there so we do not write no, a or b only single i single i will be represented this is the o blood group yes these are some crosses of uh, different blood groups and different uh, possible genotypes and possible phenotypes when the blood group is a means parent p1 is a blood group and parent p2 is a blood group what will be the possibility to have uh, the different uh, genotype then then possibility will be a blood group again this possibility is a blood group maybe a or o both if bb blood group is there then the child will be b or b or o if ab blood group is there then the child will have ab blood group or child will have a or child will have b if o or blood group is there then only the child will have only o blood group in its phenotype so these are some crosses yes this is again the same table with the uh, different parents different parent blood group and uh, the phenotype of the child which may be uh, present if parent is having a a blood group then the child will have a or o if the parent having a b blood group then the child will have a blood group b a b or o if the parent if the parent means if the father has a blood group and the mother has a b if the father has a and mother is ab so then the, the blood group will be a ab 
or AB. If the parent has A or O blood group, then the child will have A or O. If the parent has BB blood group, then it will have B or O. If the parent has B and AB blood group, then A, B or AB. So similar in that manner, you have to learn uh, what are the possibility of children having that blood group or what are the possibility that the children will not have the same blood group as that of its uh, parent. So you must remember that this table is very important for your multiple choice question. So thank you.